welcome you here this morning to Princeton, to the Princeton Club, on this annual breakfast of Shema Kaleinu. And most importantly, I give you the founder, the initiator, the brains, the thoughts behind it, Dr. Joshua Weinstein. Shema Kaleinu has become a model school where people come to visit, people come to learn, and we actually have people from all over the globe, educators, researchers, visiting our school, not for one day. We had a group from Singapore for over a week from the Department of Education. We hosted them. And then they wanted us to train their people in Singapore. Uh, it is my privilege to uh, uh, introduce Letitia James, the public advocate for the city of New York. <laughs> a school that works hard every single day to improve the lives of children with autism in New York. But more importantly, an organization that at its heart only sees children, only sees children, and recognizes at its core that God doesn't make mistakes and that we should celebrate all children in youth. It's an honor to be standing here with Brad and giving him a special award that was drawn, the art of the children of Shmakalainu. Beautiful. I know a lot of people here have been at Shema Kolenu, have had a chance to sit in the classrooms, have had a chance to watch kids go through the grocery store, have had a chance to watch what happens when a kid who no one was sure was going to be able to find and develop their full selves uh, becomes able to do so. It's just a remarkable, magical thing that makes us human in ways that we aren't otherwise. Um, and welcoming you to Shema Kuleinu, as the program says, is something that I've been able to do fortunately now for I think seven or eight years. Um, it's truly a meaningful organization to me, uh, to my family, to our community. Presented and to Mark Levine with grateful recognition from the children of Shema Kuleinu, hear our voices. Oh so Mazel Tov, thank you for everything that you do, Mark. Keep it up. Keep it up. I come to be full of admiration for what this organization has done and for the message that you have sent that every child is precious, that uh, every child has the opportunity to live a fulfilling life, a life of meaning, um, to be a source of great joy to their family if, if they receive the proper services. And uh, you were a pioneer, Dr. Weinstein, in embracing this philosophy. That when you see organizations that work with the children of our city, you can't help but get a teary eye and feel that there is something very special happening. And that's why I come to this every single year. Let's give uh, Shema Kaleno a great big round of applause for what they do. 15 years of doing amazing work. And I just wanted to just say, Congratulations and thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor. Please give a big round of applause to Jenny Berger. There it is. Okay. For this uh, incredible recognition, I'm very humbled and, and honored. Um, when I was first introduced to Shema Kuleinu, I remember my first thought was, wow, that's an, uh, the name of an organization that makes such perfect sense. It translates directly for um, those of you who don't speak Hebrew to uh, hear our voices. I'm Awazet Hossein. Uh, is really uh, has an extraordinary career and so deserves this recognition. She's a specialist in school psychology, uh, nationally certified and recognized here in the United States, in Bangladesh, and globally by the World Health Organization, who have made her regional champion for autism in South Asia. Uh, she's the chair of an NGO she founded, Shuchona Foundation. Uh, and has done truly extraordinary work. The award is being accepted today uh, on her behalf by the Bangladeshi ambassador to the UN, uh, H.E. Masood bin Momen, and that's in part because we are, of course, uh, making an individual recognition, but in some ways we're recognizing the work of the Bangladeshi community and of Bangladesh uh, in their strides. We don't necessarily think of Bangladesh 
Uh, you know, when we think of it, we tend to think of it as, oh, there's a lot of challenges and problems there, and like everywhere there are, but it is a place that has made autism services, autism recognition, helping people with autism thrive, a central goal. Um, and we are so, so honored to acknowledge that today. So uh, it's my great pleasure to present this award. Uh, we ask the ambassador to come up. <laughs> ambassador, thank you so much for your tremendous work. So I thank uh, Shmak uh, uh for uh, uh, honoring uh, Bangladesh and also uh, Ms. Uh, Saima Senwazad uh, with this Champions Award. Thank you, uh, Ezra, and uh, also uh, Dr. Joshua Weinstein uh, for your wonderful work over the last two decades. And Josh really was a visionary years ago, and very few people were talking about this. Josh stepped up to the plate. He's actually held annual conferences to really try to bring cutting edge research into the field, and I appreciate and I'm grateful for all the work that he's done, and of course, the great Menachem Lubinsky has been partnering by his side as well. So I just want to thank everybody uh, for supporting Shema Kalenu, uh, for supporting the autism community, uh, and uh, we've really come so far uh, in, in fighting and doing research uh, on autism, but uh, it seems to be that uh, the further we go, the more work we have to do. But uh, thank you, Shema Kalenu, uh, for hearing all of our voices. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for making this really an extraordinary breakfast. And we look forward again to seeing you next year. Thank you.